What's up, Team Insanity? Toy Insanity here with the Masters of the Universe Monday. We found three really kill Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe Skeletor heads with figures and some kind of little construction vehicle inside. Set of three. Found these $10 a piece at Walmart. We get the classic Skeletor. Inside here is going to be trap, jaw, and some kind of guns you can build. Glow in the dark. It does glow in the dark. I checked it. I can confirm. Fisto is in here, and he has a cliff climber, some kind of mech suit, and a weapons array. And then this is affectionately known as Disco Skeletor. Back in the 2000X line, Mattel made a variant paint job of Skeletor that was gold and black. And apparently the fans at the time didn't really like it. It was just a variant color. He doesn't appear in the TV show or you know, any kind of comic book or anything with this coloration. Mattel just made it up. And people started calling it Disco Skeletor. Ah, but since then, you know, some people have taken a liking to it. Am I going to have to pause? Some people like the colors. I mean, even like the Funko Pops and different variants of Skeletor since that original line has had the Disco Skeletor. Skeletor coloration. Uh, I'm going to do the builds. I usually don't do builds. He-Man is inside here. <sighs> I'm going to do the builds. Thumbs up, BRB. All right. Thank you for the thumbs up. I did it. I did the builds. All right. We got first up, Trap Jaw and his laser cannon. I'm happy to finally have Trap Jaw. But the weird thing here is that you see how everything has something mounted to the top? of uh, Skeletor's head. Why is this not mounted up here? Okay, so what they're showing, they want you to put the laser cannon down on the back of Skeletor's head and put this little science kit on the inside. You got a nice little image of Eternia. So you can build stuff on the inside if you want. They didn't want you to put anything on the top. Makes no sense. And this can't exactly, I mean, it can click, I guess, offset. But anyway, finally got Trap Jaw in his comic book colors. And he has four hand attachments. The pew 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 laser, a hook, a pincher, and a spatula. Very awesome. I'm glad they made the spatula. Well, this is Fisto Cliff Jumper. All right. They want you to put this little orb of attorney up here, which you can actually... So once he climbs up there, I mean, it's like twice his height, but once he gets to the top of Skeletor's glow-in-the-dark head, uh, you can take this piece off because he's retrieved it. You know, he's retrieved this rare crystal, and then you put this piece on... And then uh, he can hold it or whatever. Okay, Fisto. Cliff Climber. Oh, he lost his climbing boot. So, yeah, he's got climbing boots and this power suit that you can build out. But we got Fisto with his big old fist and sort of a, a grappling hook. I mean, there's, there's no dedicated place you even, like, attach it up here. But he's got a cool we weapons array, some kind of missile, a halberd, a broadsword, and a mace. All right, finally, the disco. Ow! Oh, the disco Skeletor head comes with He-Man on the jet sled, and these are just some rocks. All right, but this is how you build it out. You could. There's a little clip on the inside. They want you to put the sword. On that clip. Let's see if we can detach this. I'm a little disappointed they didn't just go ahead and make Disco Skeletor in one of these. Gold and black Skeletor? Mega Blocks figure? Anyway, this is like our fifth or sixth He Man. And he's got the jet sled build. I think this is the first one for me at least where the armor is rubber. Weren't the uh, prior ones? Regular plastic? I don't remember. But He-Man's back. Skeletor is not back. And we finally get 
Trapped, y'all. And Fisto. Looking good, my dudes. All right, ten dollars a piece. Walmart. Check my Mo2 playlist for my other Mo2 Mondays and my meager Mo2 collection. Thanks again. Check you later. Goodbye.